In this video, we are going to talk about kinematics. So, we want just to see how we can solve this question. The question is saying, the speed of a train is reduced uniformly from 16 meters per second to 18 meters per second while traveling a distance of 105 meters. Part 1. Compute the acceleration. Part 2. How much further will the train travel before coming to rest, provided the acceleration remains constant? Okay. So, the most important thing which we have to know under kinematics is uh, we have three main equations. The first formula which you have to know is uh, the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus uh, acceleration times time. The second one is uh, the displacement is equal to the initial velocity times time plus the half acceleration times time squared. The third formula is uh, the, the final velocity squared is equal to the initial velocity squared plus 2 times acceleration times the displacement. Now, after reading the question, we need to come up with data. Data is going to help us to know which equation are we going to use. Okay, so from here, we can see that we have the initial velocity. The initial velocity of um, um, 16 meters per second. Then we also have the final velocity as 18 meters per second. Now, we have been told that the distance covered, it was... Um, 105 meters. The question is compute the acceleration. So from these three formulas, which formula is suitable for us to use based on the data which we have? So as we can see, the first formula requires us to have time. And the second formula also requires us to have time, but we don't have time. Therefore, the only formula which can work in this case is uh, the third formula. So we are going to see, we are going to use this formula to come up with uh, our acceleration, where s is uh, the displacement. So the final velocity is 18. So we're going to say 18. Then we square it minus the initial velocity is um, what we have to be is equal to 16 squared plus 2. The acceleration is the one we are trying to find. The displacement is 105. So we can shift this part to the other side. It's going to be 18 squared minus 16 squared has to be equal to. So we can say uh, 105 times 2 is going to give us 210. So we have 210 times A. We divide both sides by 210, even here by 210. So we are going to see that our acceleration is going to be equal to, we have 18 squared minus 16 squared. So I'm getting 68. 68 divided by 210. I'm getting 0. Point. I'm getting um, 0. 0.324 meters per second squared. So this is going to be our acceleration. Now, part two is saying how much further will the train travel before coming to rest, providing the acceleration remains constant. So the acceleration is going to be the same. That was the, that's what they are, they, they are saying. Okay. So now let's just get rid of this. Now, when something comes to rest, Meaning the final velocity at that particular point is going to be zero. So in in part two, the final velocity now is going to be zero. Okay, it's going to be zero because it is coming to rest. When something is coming to rest, meaning it is decelerating. So this acceleration now is going to have negative. It's going to be negative, uh, negative three point negative three point two four. Okay, negative three. Negative zero point. Uh, we found that it was negative 0 0.324. It's going to be negative because it is decelerating. So which formula are we going to use for us to find the distance? It's going to be the third formula because we don't have time. We can't use the, the, the second formula. 
So we we'll still maintain the third formula, okay, which is um, the v final squared, v initial squared plus two as. So the final velocity is now zero squared. The initial velocity remains the same, sixteen squared plus two. Acceleration now is going to be negative zero point three uh, three two four times the displacement. Our goal is to find the displacement. We shift this part to the other side. It's going to be uh, this zero we can just ignore it and then we are going to have this It's going to be equal to we are going to have negative if we say 0 0.324 times 2 It's 0 point I'm getting 0 point uh, 648 let's divide both sides by 0 point 648 even here by negative 0 point 648 so we, as we can see, these two here, they'll cancel. We are going to remain with our displacement. is going to be equal to negative and negative will go. We are going to have 16 squared. Everything divided by uh, 0 0.648. So I'm getting my displacement now as 395.1 meters. So that is it for this question. Thank you for watching this video.